Hi everyone. Today with us we have Navya Garg. She is currently a final year student pursuing her bachelor's in commerce from Ramjas College, Delhi University. Navya's journey is marked by participation in numerous competitions and various prestigious programs, including being part of the first cohort of DE Show Finspire Fellowship, which we will be discussing in very depth in today's video, and we'll be asking a lot of questions from Navya as well. and she has also represented her university at various platforms like in actors world cup 2022 and achieved the remarkable distinction of being a global winner at ey next gen so hi navya and welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today and definitely i'll get to uh, learn a lot from you thank you thank you for the lovely and kind introduction priyanka and also thank you for the platform to share about this amazing opportunity which deesha has brought for girls in india Okay all right Navya my very first question to you is what is DE Show Finspire fellowship and who is eligible for this fellowship okay uh firstly it's important to understand what a fellowship is okay so it's not an internship it's not a competition it's a fellowship a uh, fellowship hai jaise ki they give you training uh, it's provided by organizations or institutions in order to support uh, people whom they see some sort of a potential in uh they're trying to you know basically give a foundation for you it's a mentorship kind of a session uh, now the desis finspire fellowship program is a 3 day in person event which happens in their hyderabad office and it's particularly aimed at helping women to find like exploring their career opportunities in the world of finance uh you get to interact with like top industry leaders or uh, you get to meet you know women in their workspace and you get the networking opportunity to meet like women from across our country from different colleges and uh So over the course of the three days, uh, you get a stipend too, and you get to attend a lot of sessions. Uh, but I will keep that to myself because I think I should keep the surprise element intact for the new fellows. Uh, however, I will mention that uh, these sessions, you know, will cover topics like financial news, uh, stock market, just women navigating their career, and things like that. Coming to the eligibility of the program. Uh, so this program is open to all and any women uh, who are in their first year of undergraduate full time undergraduate program in india and uh, so there is no discrimination in terms of your field or your academic course as well my okay. batch had women from commerce from economics management even someone from psychology so uh, you know there's no prior knowledge of finance required but you should have a genuine and keen interest in their program or in exploring careers in finance uh that would be the eligibility for you my next question to you navya is uh what are the benefits of being a de show fellow so firstly i think the benefits of being a de show fellow is not something which can be put down into a conventional list or which is you know uh, measurable and tangible aspects uh but i'll try to just you know summarize it all firstly you get like this unparalleled exposure uh, as a college freshman i mean imagine uh, getting the exclusive opportunity to be in hyderabad city for 3 days fully sponsored all by yourself uh, when you're just new into college so th that is like a very very uh, important exposure kind of an experience that you get and apart from that you actually get to engage in interactions with industry leaders and with top management one on one and you get to ask them questions you get, get to listen about their journeys their work experiences uh, this is one and the first advantage or benefit of this uh secondly i think that this fellowship is a life saver for all of those who have like uh, some sort of doubts or are unsure about finance about tech about their careers in general uh i remember back in my edition it was the first one so all of us were completely clueless like when we applied we just we didn't know what we were signing up for uh but coming back we had a lot of clarity because they actually guide you so much through how to make career decisions what does a corporate life actually look like uh you know even in terms of having doubts like what should be a graduation plans or having imposter syndrome they just they actually address so many of these uncertainties you have as a college person in the first year uh then thirdly the connections you make there are gold like i cannot emphasize enough on the kind of cohort that you are a part of uh, everyone is so unique and everyone is actually like you actually a part of such a diverse group and such a driven group of women that even after the program you will be finding them you know supporting each other providing you resources uh, my group is still active on whatsapp and we all cheer for each other because we're all doing different things but we just love seeing each other do those things so it's a lot of it's a very nice networking and supportive like kind of environment that you find there 
and uh, lastly i think it's not just about what you learn or what you gain in those three days uh being a fellow leaves just a very lasting impact on you um i think there's a lot of confidence and credibility that it leaves you with and um, you know you get a head start in your career you're able to stand out uh in terms of your like, your crowd in the college or anything like that uh and before i forget you also actually get a lot of good goodies there so this is also a benefit like i still have these goodies and they're so fun um that is something which you should definitely look forward to okay the benefits are huge and that's just some okay. of it like i can keep going <laughs> okay my next question to you is what are the steps to apply for dishu finspire fellowship and what documents we need to keep handy like uh, are, do they ask for any documents or any step that is very important during the application process that you would like to emphasize okay so uh, the selection process has two steps first is the cv submission and the form filling and the second stage is your aptitude test and interview uh in the first round it's a very basic round you have to fill your matlab details like your email id or contact address etc and uh, in regards to documents uh, you should have like a passport photo your id proof things like that available very basic things that you should have digitally ready for yourself to submit the form uh in regards to the cv submission it's a pretty standard cv submission uh, you should have the format in check be make sure it's formal and uh, i would suggest seek help from your seniors or from online resources to find the right cv to you know publish there and also um probably try to make sure that you have only relevant and recent information put up on your cv so agar jaise aap first year ho when you are applying i would suggest 9 to 12 is an ideal window like in school things that you did between this time would be nice and if you've done anything in college so far you can add that as well on your cv um and i'll give you a little more things about like how should the submissions be a little later in the section when we come to faqs but that is all that you need in the form filling and cv submission round um then uh, you get a apt link online for an aptitude test this is the first elimination round uh, here you get all the instructions clearly in the mail by the company it's very complete and concise in its manner uh make sure you run a compatibility test because it's an online aptitude test that is done and uh, uske alawa make sure you have your webcam operating your mic and everything in check right these are like basic things you should have in place um the coming to like the pattern of the aptitude test it has three sections uh, logical reasoning data interpretation and quantitative ability it's a 45 minute test for in the mcq format and it has negative marking as well so be aware of that and then uh, there is a asynchronous interview for 9 minutes we had three questions asked in it and uh, for all of those who don't know an asynchronous interview is basically ki ek pre recorded question hota hai pre recorded screen pe and you get a certain time limit to think of your answer on spot then the video starts recording you answer in one go for a specific time limit and then it submits automatically so this is the uh, last stage in terms of application that you send and that's pretty much all that it takes to apply Okay so uh one thing that i could get was that getting into dish of inspire is not easy task you would need to be uh very good at uh solving questions and in, in during interview as well uh yeah i mean i think uh, as long as you know you are sincere and you are confident uh it should be a good right for you uh but i do think that more than being like well prepared or more than being sharp you need to really just be authentic and unique because if you're trying to say what they want to hear or if you're trying to you know uh fabricate your answers in that manner uh you'll get into trouble because it's it's you can't even do a redo right so i think that is the tough part okay my next question to you is what is the timeline of the complete program beginning from the application process till the end of the cohort okay so the actual finspire fellowship program is for 3 days like i mentioned in the hyderabad office but uh, the application starts very early so right now this year the applications are open and i would encourage all first years to try for it if they're interested it's open till 15th of april uh, even when i had applied it was open during the first week of april and then you get the link for the test within april or by the end of april itself um the asynchronous interview like i mentioned you will directly be sent to it if you clear the cut off for your aptitude test so that is also done on the same day 
uh after that it's a little bit of wait because we never know how much time it will take to process the applications and you have to just anticipate uske baad don't try to rush things don't try to mail them you know they respond they take time we had our uh you know acceptance mails received in june and then in the last week of july we were in hyderabad so that will be the timeline for you okay sounds pretty cool and uh, do you have any numbers as well uh, like how many students apply for the program and how many finally get selected okay so um here's the thing the stats are changing every year because when we applied it was the first year so i think the applications might have been somewhere around 2000 but this is also a very approximate number i don't know uh, 21 of us were selected uh, even the next year even if the application numbers increased the selected students were 23 22 uh, so every year the selection is 21 to 25 i would say you know depending on the quality of applications with the number comfortably crosses i think 2000 Okay so very competitive <laughs> yeah as it should be you know it's a very exclusive opportunity <laughs> yes yes my next question to you is uh, that uh, do you have any tips or suggestions for the aspirants that are going to apply this year or in the upcoming years yeah okay sure firstly thank you so much for that question uh, most of us whatever dms we get are about you know things and questions i'll try to address whatever we get commonly uh, firstly the most important thing for any application whether this program or any other application is uh, authenticity coupled with confidence and self belief uh like i said earlier it's an exclusive opportunity and you are just a first year uh the only way you can actually in, you know give the confidence to the company that you actually want to be there is if you're genuine and if you're actually expressing your interest well so uh make sure you know your usps make sure you're not doing this just because you want it on your resume or just because you want it on your profile दे शुड बी सम सॉर्ट ऑफ पर्पज की इसके बाद यू नो आपको फाइनेंस में जाना है सच में या फिर योर कोर्स इज समथिंग विच इज वॉट फाइनेंस और एनी थिंग लाइक दैट यू नो दैट शुड भी फर्स्ट थिंग यू कीप इन माइंड सेकेंडली इन द इनिशियल स्टेजेस पीपल आस्क अबाउट यू नो सी वी सबमिशन हाउ डू वी डू इट क्या दिखना चाहिए सो मेक श्योर दैट लाइक आई सेट योर इट शुड बी रिसेंट नाइन टू ट्वेल्थ इज अ गुड विंडो यू कैन मैंशन एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ अवार्ड यू हैव वन टाइटल्स यू हैव वन मैंशन कॉम्पिटिशन यू हैव वन uh if not you can also mention you can, of course you should mention your grades and your basic information but apart from that you can mention if you've held any positions of responsibility uh first year may by the time the application opens a lot of students are already part of college society so you can mention what college societies you are in etc the important thing here is that whatever you mention add a line to describe how are you contributing there what is your role what did you do okay so these should be the things in the cv round and of course avoid grammar mistakes avoid format mistakes don't put a photograph showing your beach in goa or something like that you know avoid those things it's a very formal cv submission um it's you're in first year so they're not very harsh on us i think in that regards now the aptitude test um like i said you receive the link you receive the instructions very well on it it has negative markings you should be aware about that be careful when you answer it uh, do not do not do not try to use unfair means it's a very exclusive opportunity respect that and i think just you know have the confidence that you can clear the cut off um yeah that would be it for it uh, about the preparation a lot of people ask us ki aptitude kaise kya se prepare kare kya prepare kare so if you are someone who has recently given any sort of entrance examination or if you've given any sort of you know uh, those common entrance things wherever the aptitude test is taken so you are in a good place because the aptitude test is very similar to those things like i said the sections are also pretty basic but uh, even if you have not given any entrance exam or uh, if it's been a while since you gave it brush up your basic concepts like percentages sentence formations fractions or sequences arrangements how to interpret a pie chart things like that just just have your basics in place um that would be it for the aptitude test and if luckily you are able to clear the cut off you are automatically sent to the interview so make sure you are dressed well while sitting for the aptitude itself right have your hair and everything right in place uh in the interview express yourself well be clear uh be confident curate your answers like i said thinking not what they want to hear but what you want to say and uh, because you have one go so i would suggest that you know have a few basic things prepared beforehand for example your introduction or why you want to be in this program what are your future plans so things like that and stay a little up to date with regards to what's happening around and i i personally believe it's a beneficial if you have some sort of opinions as well being diplomatic will not take you very long in a very you know like a minute interview how much diplomatic could you be um 
Oh, another question that I get a lot is about the safety and arrangements of this program. So be assured, it's very well organized and well program, you know, well planned program. They have ensured everything is in place for you. You will feel very comfortable. In fact, we are treated as royalty over there. So uh, don't worry about those things at all. Uh, lastly, if you do make it to the city of pearls and biryani, <laughs> make sure you make the best of this opportunity. Interact a lot. Ask questions to the leaders. Uh, represent yourself well. You're representing your college, and uh, make memories and fun. Have fun with the women there. Those would be like the general tips and suggestions which I have. The tips were amazing. I the sare hi to questions answer kar diye. And one more question. uh do you have any idea what is the cut off for the assessment uh no, they haven't disclosed it officially so i will not make any sort of you know statement regarding that but uh, okay. i think try to try to at least reach a 50% in every section but again like okay. i said there is no official statement and i'm not saying anything in concrete here okay so uh, my next question to you navya is how has been your experience as dish of inspire fellow and that too you were one of the fellow from the first cohort yeah <laughs> thank you uh the experience is nothing short of incredible and transformative and um, you know i still find it hard to actually explain how i feel about being a fellow and just i mean as a first year student imagine you're just in a new city with 21 women you just met at the airport and you're in an office in like it's it's just something which is not which is very hard to put into words uh but uh, i will say that it was a very pivotal moment for not just me for everyone who was there at that time because as a first year you know you're trying to find yourself you're trying to stand out everyone is participating in everything you're trying to see is good opportunities uh, a lot of us are actually like having i don't know like an identity sort of a issue as well so you know you get a lot of confidence in that way i think that is like my most important like thing that i remember from it and apart from that in those 3 days uh, my experience was just magical i mean you get to have such eye opening conversations there are such immersive mentorship sessions uh you get insights into the corporate life it's a beautiful beautiful office and i can't say that enough and uh you know you just gain so much knowledge about how it actually operates like how this whole working scenario works and um yeah i think uh the program has had a great impact on the kind of decisions that i make now or the confidence or how i represent myself now because it early on gave me like a very you know clear idea as to how do you be in an office how do you present yourself and things like that so i think that way it gives a lot of um head start to you uh and then for the experience i can never not mention all the fun that you have uh the endless conversations movies and dancing and dinners with your women i mean uh we all read and hear about women in a room it's a very special feeling and so you will get to experience that as well uh looking back now if you ask me like what is my experience as a teach or alum in the inspire fellowship it would be uh just you know be like a lot of pride and joy because being recognized as a fellow from it is is actually a matter of a lot of like pride and uh, i remember back then i had very little idea about finance i was not confident about it so then coming back being acknowledged by my seniors and every year now being approached by my juniors it just fills me with so much gratitude and i think for others also i should mention this as a part of the benefit also like once you're associated with it you're always associated with it and you get to empower so many other women like i am able to today through this platform hopefully So, you know that is like a very special part of being a fellow actually i also come from a women university and i can totally relate to you that a women are our biggest cheerleaders for sure <laughs> thank you navya for joining me today and i got to learn a lot from you and about the show as well and if any one of you still have any questions i'll be mentioning navya's linkedin account down in the description box you can connect with her directly and i hope no other questions might be left but if you still have any questions then you can directly connect with her yeah for sure thank thank you so much uh, thank you priyanka for giving me this platform and for such a beautiful conversation and even prior to these uh, formal discussions and thanks to the listener i hope that this video proves to be helpful to everyone you know who's applying who keeps asking us these doubts if you're not able to respond to you and um, i wish all the very best to everyone who's applying this year and to all the aspirants for the coming editions 
uh, like she said please feel free to connect with me over linkedin and i'll try to uh, be as much of help as i can <laughs>